Talk today is a big day. Just two more hours of voting left until folks in Columbia will have chosen a new mayor, Dars. That's right, a new mayor and an at-large city council member. But voting didn't go as smoothly as some had hoped very early this morning. News 19's Tai Wong takes a look at some of the problems at the polls. Some voters tell me polling sites in Columbia were having issues this morning, but according to numerous managers at the polling sites that I spoke with, those issues were resolved shortly after they began, and they were fixed by 7.30, the latest this morning. One voter who wishes to remain anonymous says when she went to vote Tuesday morning, she had to fill an emergency paper ballot. You know, checked in, got our ballot, we went to put our ballots in, and they the machine rejected them. We tried all the machines. After voting was complete, the voters who used the emergency ballots had to place their sheets in an envelope and put it in the ballot box for officials to manually cast the ballot after voting is complete. It makes me a little uneasy, but I, I'm going to trust in the integrity of the system. But like I said, it makes me a little, a little uneasy. According to the polling manager for Ward 12, Barbara Jones, the issue had to do with the machines. There was an issue where the ballots, normally we had been putting them through a printer to put the election information on the top, but this election was set up not to do that. Jones says the problem was resolved in about five to ten minutes and using the emergency ballots is part of their protocol that wards are instructed to do. The South Carolina State Election Commission told us in a statement the problem was a third party group that was supposed to set up the machines. This issue was caused by a human error made by the vendor in preparing the file, but this should have also been caught by the Richmond Elections Office when reviewing the file before Election Day. They add, however, this is not something that should have impacted the voters in a meaningful way. Alexandria Stevens is a Richland County Director of Registration and Elections. She says only a few polling sites were impacted. Um, but we made sure that we contacted all precincts. We also had our polling location technicians visit all of our precincts to make sure that all of them were up and running smoothly. According to Stevens, polling sites are running as they should. She tells me no one was turned away from the polls this morning, and they make it their goal to ensure that everyone has a chance to cast their ballots. She says, however, if you were sent away, you can still come on down until 7 o'clock and cast your vote. Reporting in Columbia, Tai Wong, News 19, WLTX. All right, thank you, Ty. And early this morning, we heard that there were also some issues for people voting at the fire station on Divine Street. We spoke with the poll manager who said that for a short time, voters at that specific precinct had to use paper ballots while the machines were having trouble. It's been good. It started off a little rocky because we had a slight problem that was worked out pretty quickly. And we had people waiting, but they didn't have to wait very long. And so what we did uh, to solve the problem, we had them vote with the paper ballot to make sure they got a chance to vote. And we later found that the printer was uh, acting up, and so the technicians gave us uh, orders to just disconnect that particular printer. And that way the regular process is going complete now. All right, well, like she said, they got the problems fixed quickly. So, of course, keep it tuned here to WLTX tonight. We are going to have live election updates throughout the night. You can also find the latest at WLTX.com. And when we get the precincts in, we will start them scrolling at the bottom of your screen.